Good morning people. A different kind of video. And it's about so-called trickle-down economics. Well, I think that graphic pretty much says everything. Big companies at the top, nice big profits, and they really just kind of pee all over taxpayers. Well, look at it another way. It's also been called horse and sparrow economics. Horse and sparrow, quick definition. Um, it means that, as I've said before, the big horse goes into the big farmer's field. The farmer owns the horse and the field. The horse eats all those lovely oats supplied to him or her by the farmer. And then, of course, the horse has to take a dump. So as it takes a dump, it then leaves behind its horse poo that us, the tiny little sparrows, perhaps a little bit like the woman in this picture, come down to uh, eat up and get the goodness out of horse poo. So horse and sparrow economics, very much favoured by the um, Tory party, of course, is best described as, um, I think I'll put it bluntly, horse shit economics. You see in the graphic there, the trickle-down theory, the principle that the poor, who must subsist on, on table scraps, dropped by the rich, can best be served by giving the rich bigger meals. So, OK, we do decide. Let's say we decide to give the big corporations and the companies and whatever big bigger meals. Let's feed them on bigger and bigger hamburgers, bigger and bigger handouts, and um, just bigger and bigger everything. So you'd think that the quality of the shit coming out of them then would have more kind of nourishing marrow bone jelly in for us poor little so-and-sos further down. Well, actually, it doesn't change. In fact, by the time the uh, trickle-down has trickled down, um, the, the horse shit no longer has any value as anything more than horse shit. It's all just been, all the nourishing marabone goodness has been taken out of it by the people who are right at the top of the pyramid. So another way of looking at it, I suppose, that you have seen, is look at it, say, on this one. Trickle-down economics, yep. Look at big business there. Well, they're peeing on the middle class, yep, who will effectively just transfer that down to the working class. But, you know, once they've uh, fulfilled, once they've taken all the value out of that pee, it's no more than just pee. And getting fairly near to concluding now, trickle-down economics, yep. Here's how we're told it works. Yep, that's what horse and sparrow is supposed to look like. Big horse at the top, poos out lots, and just imagine those glasses at the bottom are us, so we're supposed to get all the goodness out of its poo that's been, like, recycled. That's how we're told it works. Now, just look quickly. What actually happens is this. The rich get fed, get more nourished off of our backs, and they keep the wealth. No nourishment, no wine flows down at all. So next time you hear Tories going on about you know, how feeding billionaires is great for all of us, how rewarding the wealthy is so good, and how they're going to make us all so much richer in our tax haven, just think, horse and sparrow economics is really horse poo. Who is it horse poo for? It's horse poo for ordinary people. Take care, have a great day, don't forget to vote.